your time, God. We come with a bow head and a humble heart. Lord, we go all the way down that you may come all the way up in us. Lord, we ask you in your son Jesus' name, would you have your way? Lord, I don't want to do what I want to do, but I want to do what you will have me to do. Lord, I ask in your son Jesus' name, will you save somebody? Will you sanctify somebody? Will you set somebody free up today? God, we thank you for the man of God of this house and his wife. God, we ask that you continue to bless them one by one, name by name. And God, I thank you for this preaching opportunity. God, I thank you for your people on the day. God, I thank you for what you're about to do in this house. And God, I did not take any glory, but I give all glory and honor and praise unto you. Now, God, we ask in your son Jesus' name when you have your way in this house. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And thank God. If you love God, why don't you give him a hand clap of praise?
Amen. First Samuel chapter 1. Y'all bear with me. She don't see my glasses. And we'll start reading at verse 26. Verse 26, when you have the word, say, I have the word. I have the word. If you need me to wait up, say, wait up. Amen. Verse 26, and it reads as follows. And Jesus said, Oh, my Lord. I mean, I'm sorry. And she said, Oh, my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here, praying unto the Lord. For this child I pray, and the Lord hath given me my petition with I ask, which I ask. Amen? Amen. Amen. God's word for God's uh, people. Amen. You may be seated. If I have to tag this text, I'm going to tag this text, the power of a praying mother. Amen? The power of a praying mother. Amen? Also have a subtopic here, uh, what to do when you're waiting on the Lord. Amen? Amen. I, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor? Elder Franklin is talking about the power of a praying mother. Her subtopic is uh, what to do when you're waiting on the Lord. I don't know about y'all, but I have been in a position, a position that I had to wait. Amen? Have anybody ever been in that position where you had to wait? Somebody say wait. Many of us have all been in a position where we had to wait on the Lord. Amen? Many of us have been in a position where we just had to wait, period. Somebody say wait. Uh, many of us have been at the red light, and you know we've been in a hurry, but it seemed like that red light would take a whole minute before it turns. Somebody say wait. We get a little antsy. Come on, y'all. We get a little antsy. We start messing with things while we're waiting. But somebody say, you got to learn how to wait. Uh, many of us had to drop our loved ones on, at the doctor's office or somewhere, and we had to wait. Somebody say, wait. We had to wait. We had to learn how to wait. My question it is, what do you do while you're waiting? Amen? Amen. Listen, at the time of this text, this text here deals with about four characters. Come on. This text here deals with a man by the name of Ethanah. This text deals with another man, the priest, the preacher, by the name of Eli. And this text here deals with the woman by the name of Panana. Somebody say Panana. Uh, this text also deals with the woman by the name of Hannah. Somebody say Hannah. Uh, the Bible says at the, at the time of this text, this man by the name of Ethanah, who was uh, 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 from Ephraim. Somebody say Ephraim. Uh, the Bible says that he also was from the land of Zuth. Somebody say Zuth. Uh, the Bible also says uh, another thing about Ethanah. Ethanah had two wives. Somebody say two wives. I don't know where y'all going to get on it, but I'm about ready in just a few minutes. Uh, the Bible says that uh, he had two wives. One was named Panana and the other one named Hannah. Somebody say Hannah. Uh, the Bible says that now uh, Ethanah had a, a job. Uh, he served not really as a priest, but he served as one of the leaders. Come on, somebody. And at some time, uh, Ethanah would take time off and go up and worship the Lord. And the Bible says that when he worshiped the Lord, uh, he would do he would uh, worship the Lord by giving sacrifices. Come on, y'all. How many sacrifices have you made? Uh, the Bible said that they would take a, a, an animal and they would burn the animal. And the Bible said that he would give some to the Lord. And that's the way they worship the Lord. Come on. And the Bible says that when he came down from worshiping the Lord, he brought some of the sacrifice back with him. Go no, ain't with me. The Bible says that he brought some back with him. And when he brought the sacrifice back with him, he gave some to his uh, baby mama, Panana. Somebody say Panana. He gave some to Panana, but he gave a double portion to Hannah. The Bible says he gave a double portion to Hannah. Why? It's because he loved her so much. Come on, y'all. Uh, the Bible goes on to say that when Panana and her children got their little stuff, come on, somebody, they began to pick at Panana, I mean Hannah. Come on, y'all. Y'all know I ain't ready for this thing. The text says that they began to make fun of Hannah. 
you. Come on. But how many know when you know who you are? Come on, somebody. You don't have to retaliate in the place. Uh-uh. uh Just be distracted. Come on, y'all. The Bible says they picked up Hannah. They ridiculed Hannah. They caused Hannah to be brokenhearted. Come on, y'all. The Bible even says that uh, 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 Ethanox says to Hannah, he said, Hannah, he said, what's wrong with you? He said, you walking around here crying and not eating. He said, what is wrong with you? He said, don't you know that I love you more than I love uh, uh, Panana and her children? He said, Hannah, I love you, baby. And you don't have to, you don't have to worry about them. But how many know that a mother knows what she knows? How many know that sometimes people don't understand us? Come on, somebody. How many know that whenever you're going through something, somebody just don't understand what you're going through? Well, the Bible says, the Bible says that now uh, Ethanol uh, says something to Hannah. And he says, Hannah, you, 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 you got to cut all of this out. The Bible says that Hannah was not. Let me tell you something. When you waited on God, when you when you waited on the move of God, the first thing I want you to know is that you're gonna have to push past your adversary. Because at this time, not only was Panana against Hannah, but here it is, her husband done said something to her. And then not only did her husband say something to her, y'all, but then the preacher said something to her. So you're gonna have to push past your adversary. You cannot get caught up in what the enemy is doing. Come on, y'all. See, Hannah had a vision. Hannah was believing God for something. Hannah had been praying for a very long time. It was a disgrace for a woman in the Bible days not to be able to give birth to a child. And so this is what caused Hannah to be broken hearted. It wasn't, Hannah was not broken hearted because of what Panana said and what her children said and what her husband said. Hannah was broken hearted because she was barren. Come on somebody. She was not able to produce. Hannah wanted to have a child. And Hannah, y'all, she would she start praying and asking God for a baby. Come on. And so when her adversary came, Hannah did not get off a track. Look at your neighbor and say, don't you get off a track. You got to keep praying. You won't have to push past your adversary. Come on. If God said it, that settles it. Come on, somebody. If he said he's going to pay the bill, he's going to pay the bill. Don't worry about if you got a notice or not. Come on. Don't worry about what the enemy has said. If God said it. Not only did Hannah have to push past her adversary, while waiting on the Lord, but listen, the second thing that Hannah had to do while she was waiting on the God, um, waiting on God, uh, Pastor Winbush, Hannah had to uh, pray for what she wanted. She had to push past her adversary, but then she had to pray for an answer. Come on, somebody. Now notice that in the text, y'all check me out in the text because I'm in the text. That Hannah prayed a prayer. Hannah said, listen, I ain't stem panana. We got we probably got some pananas in here today. <laughs> stem panana. We probably got some in here today. Pananas are people that always keep it up something. Because they ain't happy. Come on, somebody. Panana always looking you up and down just because they don't have. Amen. Panana just jealous of what you got because they want it. Come on, somebody. But Hannah never put her mind on a panana. I said, girl, take your mind off a panana and put your mind on God. Because here it is. Hannah never, never entertained panana in her children. The Bible says that around verse 10 that Hannah prayed. Hannah now has to, Hannah has to uh, put her mind on God and she start praying to God for an answer. Now notice that in the text, mothers, that Hannah prayed three ways. Hannah says in prayer number one, Hannah said, oh Lord, this is your servant. Yeah. Hannah let made this prayer a personal prayer. Somebody say personal prayer. <laughs> she said, Lord, this is your servant. She prayed a servant prayer. But not only, look at it in verse 10, y'all need to read some, because y'all gonna say, y'all ain't reading nothing. Let me, let me read some. Here it is. And she was bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord. And she vowed a vow of the Lord. Come on, somebody. She prayed unto the Lord and she vowed a vow. Watch this. 
and thy handmaid. Look what she said. O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me, and forget not your handmaid. The handmaid uh, in the original term is servant. Amen? Forget not your servant. Amen? She said, number one, uh, I'm your servant. But number two, not only did Hannah pray a servant prayer, but look at the text. Because Hannah prayed a specific prayer. Look at, look at the text. Because the Bible said, she said, Lord, if you would just look on me. And not only do I want you want to be your servant, but here I am. I'm praying a, a, a secret prayer, a specific prayer. She said, Lord, give me uh, a son. See, a lot of times, guys, we don't have what we ask for and because we don't know how to pray. Oh, y'all ain't liking that. We don't know how to pray. See, many of us are supposed to be praying an intercessory prayer when we're praying the prayer of Thanksgiving. <laughs> you got to learn how to pray. You should be asking, you should be praying a prayer of asking uh, when you're praying a prayer of consecration. Is it because you didn't get what you were believing God for or because you didn't know how to pray? I tell many people, I say, they say, Elder, I didn't get it. I say, well, the reason you didn't get it, wrong method and wrong motive. God said you ask for it, but you ask in a mess, meaning that you had the wrong motives. I mean, you get you are asking for something to push you up and to make you look good. No, oh, y'all ain't with me. Listen. She prayed a specific prayer, and then, uh, she prayed a seven prayer, and then she prayed a specific prayer. But then the Bible also says that she prayed a secret prayer. Now many of you say, Elder, how do you know that was secret? But I'm glad you asked, because if you look at uh, 1 Samuel, uh, chapter two, verse 1, and go down to 12 and 13, I know that this was a secret prayer. Uh, the Bible says that it came to pass as they continued to pray before the Lord, and Eli marked her mouth. And uh, the Bible says that Hannah, uh, she spake in the heart. And uh, her lips began to move. But no words came out of her mouth. The Bible says that Hannah began to pray. Can y'all see Hannah praying? Come on, somebody. Can you see Hannah down on her face? Can you see Hannah on her knees? See, we think that we got to be heard by our Right. 
a petition, uh, which I ask of him. Therefore, also I have lived him unto the Lord. And as the Lord he liveth, he shall be lent unto the Lord. For he is a worshiper of the Lord. Oh, first Samuel chapter 2 and verse 1 says, And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices. See, when God does something for you, you want to have some rejoicing in your heart. The Bible says that she began to praise God because the Lord had answered her prayer. Have the Lord ever answered your prayer? And you want to begin to rejoice. Thank you. 